Today we are learning how to make equivalent fractions by using a model. Now when you see the word equivalent, you can see that inside of it is the word equal. And so when you hear the phrase equivalent fractions, you should really think to yourself, these are equal fractions. Let's look at an example. These two fractions are equal to each other, even though this first one is one half, and this other one is two fourths. They're the same because in both circles, the same amount is shaded. So now that we know what equivalent fractions are, let's say you're asked to write a fraction that is equivalent to one-fourth. Well, you should start by drawing out a model that shows one-fourth. Drawing a rectangle or a square is easiest. Then to make an equivalent fraction, you just need to draw a line that splits your fraction into two equal sections. Because I haven't changed the amount that's shaded, this fraction is equal or equivalent. But now I would write it as two pieces out of a total of eight. One-fourth is equal to two-eighths. But that's not the only equivalent fraction we could make. We could draw one-fourth again, and this time, instead of splitting it into two sections, we could split it into three sections. When we do this, we create a new equivalent fraction. This is the fraction three, over 12. And we could keep going. We could take 1 fourth and split it up into 4 pieces. Now we have an equivalent fraction, 4 sixteenths. So these are three different examples of equivalent fractions. You could create more by breaking up 1 fourth into smaller and smaller sections. Now let's practice some of these together. Let's write a fraction that's equivalent to 1 half. Well, we will start by drawing out a model to show 1 half and then we can split this up into two sections. Now what fraction have I created here? This is the fraction two over four. Is this the only equivalent fraction I can make? No, I could make another equivalent fraction. I could take one half and split it up into three sections. Now what fraction is this? This is the fraction three over six. Now what can you say is true about one half 2 fourths, and 3 sixths. These fractions are all equal. These are equivalent fractions. Let's practice another problem together. Let's write a fraction that's equivalent to 3 fourths. We'll again start by drawing a model to show 3 fourths. Then what can I do to make an equivalent fraction? I can make an equivalent fraction by breaking this model up into equal sections. When I do this, what fraction have I created? I've created the fraction 6 over 8. Let's do another one. Let's draw another model of 3 fourths and split it up into three equal sections. What fraction is this? This is the equivalent fraction 9 over 12. And let's do one last one. If I draw a third model of 3 fourths, I could split it up into four equal sections. This would give me what equivalent fraction? This is the equivalent fraction 12 over 16. Now, are there other equivalent fractions besides these three that I could make? Yes, I could make more equivalent fractions. I just have to break my model into smaller equal sections. Now it's time for you to practice on your own. Write a fraction that is equivalent to 1 sixth. Now, I'm not sure exactly what you wrote, but I'll show you a few examples. If you drew a model of 1 sixth and split it into two sections, you'd find the equivalent fraction 2 twelfths. You could have taken 1 sixth and split it into three sections, giving you the equivalent fraction 3 eighteenths. Or you could have taken 1 sixth, split it into four equal sections, and found the equivalent fraction 4 twenty-fourths. You could have also chosen to break it into more equal sections, and you might have had a different answer. Now here's your last problem for this video. Write a fraction that's equivalent to two-thirds. Now again, I can't tell exactly which one you chose, so I'll show you a few examples. If you drew a model of two-thirds, you could have split it into two equal sections, giving you the fraction four-sixths. You could have also drawn a model of two-thirds, split it into three equal sections, giving you the equivalent fraction six-ninths. Or maybe you drew two-thirds, split it into four equal sections, and found the equivalent fraction eight-twelfths. Again, you could have had other options if you broke your model into smaller sections. 
Today you learned how to create equivalent fractions using models.